Alright guys, welcome back to Zero Plays Moemon Mega Fire Red version. Last time we uh we started we finished Seafoam Island and we started doing more trainers uh along uh the coast from Pallet Town to Cinnabar Island. We made Cinnabar Island, but we're gonna do a few more trainers first before we get uh go any further. Because uh we're gonna get some more training for our pokes here. Uh let's see. Hey, Kageshiro needs to get some training. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I think what I actually might do is, for this, is I might put Makoto out in front. So Makoto could still use a couple more levels. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and do some more trainer battles. So, um, I uh, last night, this is going to go up on Thursday, so it's not really going to apply much to... Ah, let's turn that down. There we go. Uh, it's not really going to apply much to... Uh, you guys that much, uh, because this will be going in on Thursday, but, uh, last night, uh, on Tuesday, because this is Wednesday when I'm recording this, um, I hit the next sub-goal on Twitch. Uh, by the way, I finally got my Twitch shit figured out, I think. I, I just decided, uh, the other night to completely, uh, redo my, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I redid the cache for my uh, for Streamlabs OBS, which is what I use uh, for, which is the application I use for streaming. It's it's weird. I use OBS Studio for capturing these Let's Play parts, but when I stream, I use Streamlabs OBS, um, just because it's easier for me uh, that way. Because all my Streamlabs stuff is built in, I don't have to add it in uh, again. Because you have to reconfigure it for. Um, you have to reconfigure it for regular OBS, Streamlabs stuff, and Streamlabs OBS, what's nice about it, or Slobs, as I've found it's to be called in the community, uh, it's all built in. You don't have to go get the web page. That it's, it's it's just a mess. Um, so I reconfigured that, and I streamed Doom Eternal last night, and it was fantastic. Actually, it was one of my most successful streams, because I hit another sub-goal. Uh, I hit the 25 subscriber threshold on Twitch, which means I get another emote slot. And actually, uh, uh, I just recently, just before this, I was going to uh, a, str uh, a stream of an artist I I follow. Uh, her name's, uh, I think it's Tofei or Tofei. I, I'm butchering that. Anyways, uh, she was there and she was drawing and I asked her like if she's open to do emote. Commission. She's like, yeah, sure. Um, so... This might spool some of the quote-unquote lore from my streams, but um, if that even lore, if there is even stream lore, um, but uh, there's this thing we've been doing when I've been streaming Doom Eternal, where we say um, the Kaka Demon is just he's just he's he's really just a nice guy. He's only doing it's he's only attacking you because that's his job. He's got a family to provide for. You know, Kaka Demon's always. Um, travel in packs, so it's just him and his buddies hanging out, and we're kind of, Doom Guy's just kind of ruining their day. <laughs> so, that's the lore, quote-unquote, we have going on for that character, and I, and we're all just like, I always feel, now that we've made this lore, I feel bad every time I kill a Kaku Demon in Doom Eternal. <laughs> so, essentially, um, I asked uh, Toph if I'm like, hey, um, I have an idea for an emo, can you, like, draw a Kaka demon getting a head pat? She's like, I... She's like, what's a Kaka demon? She looked up, she's like, oh my god, this thing looks... <laughs> this thing looks insane. I don't know if I can make that cute. And, of course, she totally did. Um, I, I may put the emote up here on the screen um, to show how it turned out, but it turned out amazing. She got it done during her stream, and it looks amazing. It's at, Currently, it's pending on Twitch, but by the time this episode goes out, it might be approved. So... We'll have to find out if it is, but uh, I hope it gets approved. Um, but she did it so quickly, I actually gave her my Prime sub. And she's like two followers away from 300 followers on Twitch, so guys, I'm going to put her link on the screen. Go follow her. Um, you don't necessarily have to say that I sent you, but go follow her and, you know, I support artists is one thing that I always stress. I like to support artists. Um... And she just, oh, she just did an amazing job. She got the, the emote done so quickly. Um, and very well detailed for as small as an image as, it, as an emote needs to be. She did a really good job on the details. 
So I, I can't uh, I can't uh, recommend her enough. Shoutouts to Toph. Uh, definitely go check her out on Twitch. She also has that's Vaporeon. Oh my god, Vaporeon's a cutie. That may have to be a thumbnail Pokemon. We'll find out here in a bit, though. Um, but yeah, go check her out. Uh, really appreciate the work she did on my emote. And, like, she's, in general, like, does really cute art. Like, she did this Art of Marnie, which I may also have to put on the screen, to be honest, that is so fucking adorable that, like, you guys know how I feel about Mark. And if you don't, she's my favorite of the new trainers uh, from Pokemon. I love her. I will protect her. Um, but it's so... The art she did was so cute, so... I'm like, I have to. I like, I have to like this on Insta, so... But yeah. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Of course you would use protect, you fuck. When I just started talking about protecting Marnie. It's like the game heard me. It heard my post-bro thoughts. <laughs> or pre-bro thoughts, I guess it would be in that case. I've actually been trying to think of what else I want to do for my Twitch, like, because I have um, my channel points, which is Zenny from Mega Man. I made a little Zenny coin. I'm trying to think of, like, rewards for it. Like, I have higher tier rewards, like a free Wrestle Jar, which uh, a lot of people are working towards, so... Um, but, uh, but yeah, there's a... Uh, there's quite a few... Um, Interesting things. I should actually make an emote of a wrestle jar, but I don't know what it would even like. I'd have to think about that. And these won't be like these will be like Franker face uh, Z or Z um, emotes. If for those of you who don't know what that is, uh, Better Twitch TV and Franker face Z are like little add-ons you can get to get extra uh, features on Twitch and emotes and stuff like that. So if you don't have those installed, definitely install those if you're a fan of Twitch. Okay, so I fought you. So that's is that everybody in here? No, that can't be everybody. Is it? I may have to do some off-screen training then. That's everybody. Cause did I fight you? Yeah. Okay. Well, I may have to do some off-screen training of uh, Kagoshima then, because definitely this next area is gonna is not good for Kagoshima in terms of like uh, the types of things you have to do. So, but first, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out Pokemon because I've been meaning to do this. Let's see. Um, let's move uh, Smugma back into the party. And I do have a new name for her. Um, I have to double check it though, because I forget. Uh, so, actually, you know what? I'll probably do that in the next couple parts, but I want Smugma out for some training in this next area. So, but anyways, um, so I think I'll actually put Smugma out front, or Mizuki actually would probably be the easiest to get training here. So then, I'll we'll put Smugma next, and then Yuki Makoto, and then finally, well, actually, Makoto can get some good training here too. So, I'm gonna put Makoto up here. I'm gonna switch Ryuki, uh, Dory, and Kagashi. There we go. That's probably a good order. Before I leave, I'm also gonna heal up my Pokemon because that would be a smart idea. But yeah, there we go. So, uh, let's go ahead and start the next area, which is um, the Cinema Tower. Oh, I also should go to the Pokemon Lab and get my fossil taken care of. That's one thing I should really do. We say Pokemon essentially every day. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, is it this one. Oh, there. Do you happen to have a Raichu? Would you agree to trade for Electrode? Uh, no. Well, if you don't want to. I like my Raichu. Thank you. Found this most remarkable fossil inside my I think it's rare for prehistoric Pokemon. Hi, do you have a Venonat? Do you want to trade it for my Tangela? Uh, no. I don't have a Venonat, unfortunately. I forgot that you can trade those. I think that's the only way you get Tangela in the original version. Tick, tick, tick. I'll teach you a nifty move. The Pokemon I'm watching unfold. It's a move called Metronome. 
Uh, no, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Eevee can evolve into three different kinds of Pokemon. Yes, I know. Well, it's actually more than that, but... When this original game came out... <laughs> uh, it was only three. Hey, ah, uh, I'm an import doctor. Yes, very much indeed. Here, so rare Pokemon fossil all the time. I said, hey, you have a fossil for me? Helix fossil. Oh, that's a Helix fossil, that is. It is a fossil of Almanite, a Pokemon that's already extinct. My resurrection machine will make it Pokemon live again. So, you hurry and give me that. You slut handed over the Helix fossil to doctor. I'll take. It'll take time. You go for a little while. Okay, so we come back. I'm looking for the Pokemon Ponytail. Want to trade it for my seal? Ah, uh, oh well. Well, I didn't realize there were so many trades in here. Are those new? Or did they just move the trades in here? I don't know. But in any case, what's this old man? Scientists conduct experiments in the burned out building. You know, the one they call the Pokemon Mansion? And that's where we're going to go next. Uh, so let's go ahead and just enter. Or should I go do that nickname thing now? You know what? I'm going to go... I'm going to go do that. Um, I think I'm going to go do that real quick, since I've got... I don't have a lot of time in this episode left, so... I might as well take care of that shit. So you know what? I'm going to have to... <laughs> I just moved <laughs> Chiding out of the party. I'm going to have to put it back in. I'm going to switch it for you for a second. And put Kagoshimo back in there. No. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to quickly just do this, since I've got a little bit of time in this episode. No sense doing this at the start of an episode, but I can start the mansion next episode. I know some of you guys may be like, Ah, let's just start the mansion, I want to see the mansion! But, it's fine. It's fine. i got to use my time appropriately in this game. So anyways, let's go to... Is this the name writer? No, let's put one house. Is this one? So it's gotta be this one. Yeah. Hello, hello, the official name writer. Want me to read the names of your Pokemon? Yes. Alright, so Smugma. Alright, so yes. Uh so this is a name that um the that the uh the um Arcada Arcata QT for uh, um, her community on Discord helped me come up with. I was like stumped. I'm like, I don't know what to give this name. The origin behind this name is apparently some uh, UK or not UK or European politician. And then we just like apparently who's not good. And then we just the people in chat just started like cutifying the name. And I'm just like, oh, it's, this still Machi's a uh, cute name. So, so this is the new name for uh, uh, for Macargo. Now, the other thing too is the name Mach is in there, and Macargo is a snail. So it's kind of funny, Machi. It's it's a it's a snail, and it's oxymoron. So that's what I think. But apparently, there's lore that this has to do with a a, a politician. <laughs> I don't know why they we moved to that, but that's the way the conversation went. When I'm not trying to make a political statement with it or anything, we just thought it was a cute name. And that's why we decided to go with it. So Machi is the new name of my Macargo, um, which I am totally okay with, <laughs> even though it's kind of a dumb reason why. But you know what? I'll take it. I mean, I just got a commission of a Cacodemon, a Cacodemon getting a head pat. <laughs> so I'm all about the weird, right? So, um, but I'm just going to quickly go ahead and switch... Uh, Kagoshimo back into the party before we finish off. I'm gonna go ahead and let's see. Kagoshimo. Back to the party. Switch to dang out. Uh, can you box operations? No. Alright, that's it for now. Alright, guys. Next time on Zero Plays Moimon Mega Fire Red Version, we will take a look at the Pokemon Mansion. See you then. Hey guys, my latest review on Trophy, a new NES game, is up on my review channel. If you get a second, go check it out.